Hello, my name is Derek Bundy, and I serve as a Student Involvement Advisor in the Center for Leadership and Involvement. Today, I'm here to take you through annual online training for your RSO. To begin, we'll be discussing RSO basics. You have benefits and responsibilities that come with being an RSO. In terms of your benefits, you receive a blueprint page, the ability to hold events on campus, and oftentimes free and reduced cost access to university facilities, eligibility for student fee funding through student government, access to the student organization catering fund, a University of Chicago financial account, and use of the university's tax exemption. Along with these benefits come some responsibilities. You have a number of community responsibilities, including respect, inclusivity and non-discriminatory behavior, and compliance with university policies. Additionally, you have administrative responsibilities, including annual registration, annual training, maintaining current contact information, and maintaining fiscal responsibility. In particular, we'd like to highlight our RSO community value statement. We are committed to building the human and institutional infrastructures that will promote our individual and collective flourishing. The vitality of our community depends on the safe and respectful environment that each of us has a role in sustaining. In order to foster this environment, we must ensure that all students feel supported to contribute their voice in academic and social environments. In order to have productive dialogue, we must always respect one another's differing perspectives. The rigorous, critical inquiry and pursuit of excellence that distinguishes the University of Chicago emerge from our common core values, which are respect, accessibility, and active inclusivity. Respect. We affirm the dignity of all individuals and strive to uphold a just community in which discrimination and hate are not tolerated. We value the differences and commonalities that bring us together as a community, and we strive for civility in all interactions. Accessibility. We are from diverse backgrounds and carry distinct needs. We have a shared responsibility to ensure that every student is given avenues for participation and the resources necessary for success. Active inclusivity. Each of us has a responsibility to ensure that throughout extracurricular life, all students are engaged, supported, and respectful of different communities in order to f fully participate. Through embracing these values in our daily lives, we foster an environment of trust, cooperation, and lively inquiry, and advance a commitment to cultivating community traditions and supporting learning outside of the classroom. Let's shift gears and talk about the advising model and your advisor. The RSO advising model is split up into five different categories. These categories are based on the needs of your RSO and may have varied components such as risk management concerns, budget considerations, and amount of programming. These designations are not intended to be a hierarchy, nor are they intended to serve as a ladder for your RSO to climb. Your categorization helps us understand how to best support you and what kind of training to provide for you. Your designation is not used to confer status or define access to resources. You may be wondering, how do I determine my RSO's category? You may find out by logging in at Blueprint. From there, go to your RSO's portal and on the left side toolbar, click Profile. Your advising model category will be listed immediately under Additional Information. There are a number of different advisor types that you may hear or see referenced. First, we have our RSO advisors. These are professional staff from the Center for Leadership and Involvement, the University of Chicago Community Service Center, or Athletics. They advise green, blue, and purple RSOs. Next, we have peer advisors. These are experienced student leaders that are trained by the Center for Leadership and Involvement to help assist and advise your RSO. They advise all orange RSOs. In terms of non-RSO advisors, from our department's perspective, we have faculty advisors who may serve as content experts in your area, and off-campus advising, which may come from a national headquarters or organization. 
if you're wondering who precisely your RSO advisor is, they will be listed in your Blueprint roster. You may find full staff contact information through our website. The link is provided in the Dig Deeper section of this module. Let's shift gears and talk about resources available to your RSO. Firstly, you have access to Blueprint. There are a number of benefits to using your Blueprint, including increased visibility on campus and access to our virtual flyer board and event postings, roster and membership management and the ability to host online elections, a number of communication tools, electronic access to your RSO's financial accounts, and the ability to build an archive with an electronic file storage. Other electronic resources available to your RSO include the ability to host a web page, the ability to create and manage an electronic list host, and the ability to post to the student events calendar. Links to all of these resources are provided in the Dig Deeper section of this module. Another of the resources available to your RSO is access to the Reynolds Club. RSO leaders can apply for 24-hour access to the Reynolds Club lower level and the Student Activity Center. Your primary contact in Blueprint will need to submit all requests, and each individual must be listed on your Blueprint roster. The request form for Reynolds Club access is listed in the Dig Deeper section of this module. RSOs have the ability to apply for storage and office space in the Reynolds Club or Ida Noyes Hall. Space is extremely limited and applications are accepted on an annual basis only. Office and storage applications are a part of the annual registration process that occurs every spring quarter. As we mentioned earlier, you have the ability to request 24-hour access to the Reynolds Club Student Activity Center. This is located in the lower level of the Reynolds Club in room 001 and is managed full by full-time staff and staffed by students. It is open and staffed Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. We have a number of key resources available to you in the Student Activity Center, including the ability to receive mail and packages, advertising supplies and banner making supplies, some basic audio visual equipment for you to rent, a button maker, access to an RSO computer lab, access to photocopying and printing for your RSO, and a fax machine. Another key resource for your RSO is the RSO newsletter. The RSO newsletter is filled with critical updates on things that your RSO needs to do to stay active, access university opportunities such as the RSO fair, and more. It is distributed monthly with occasional special issues. The RSO newsletter is distributed automatically to all RSO primary contacts, presidents, and treasurers. This is why it is so important to make sure that your contact information is current and updated. Otherwise, you might miss out on key updates. Any member of your RSO can opt to receive the newsletter by signing up for the RSO newsletter list host at lists.uchicago.edu. There are a number of steps required to maintain your RSO status from year to year. Firstly, your RSO is expected to complete required annual training. Training is required to maintain your RSO status and is based on your category in the RSO advising model. All orange RSOs will be required to have leaders complete an online training in lieu of attendance at an in-person training session. This training takes place during annual registration in the spring quarter. Green, blue, and purple RSOs will be required to complete the same online training as orange groups at the same time. In addition, Green, blue, and purple RSOs are required to attend an in-person training session during the second week of fall quarter. In addition to training, you have a requirement to complete annual registration through Blueprint. Every spring quarter, your RSO is required to share pertinent information about the upcoming year, including transition information, new officer contact information, and more. The individual completing the registration will become the new primary contact by default. 
if this contact information is not accurate, please be sure to update your roster to reflect the appropriate primary contact. Through the annual registration process, you will be able to update your roster, make changes to bylaws, apply for offices and storage, apply for Mandel Hall, and more. You have now reached the end of training module one. Please complete the quiz and then move on to module two, which is linked in the dig deeper section of this module.